everyone and welcome back to my Makeup Declutter part 3 and today I'm going to be going through my eye drawer and basically just going through all of my mascaras, eyeliners, eye primers, everything like that. Why has my voice gone weird? I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm really really excited for this video and yeah, without further ado, let's just get on with it because there's a lot to go through. Okay, so this is my eye drawer. As you can see, it's very jam-packed but I don't even have everything in here, like some of my eyeshadow palettes are actually on my desk and I have my glitters and single eyeshadows there as well. So yeah, this is only some of it, but I'm going to show you all of it, so don't worry. Okay, so I'm going to start with my mascaras because there's a lot in here. So the first one I have is the Maybelline Great Lash and I actually don't use this anymore and it's kind of run out, so yeah, I'll probably pass that one along. And then I have this one, which is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel. I've literally just got this. Um, and I'm going to use it in a first impressions, which will be coming soon. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping that one. And then I oh god, I dropped it. I have my L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt. I love this one as well. And then I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational, another one of my favourites. Um, what else do I have in here? I have the Smashbox Full Exposure. I got given this ages ago, but I need to use this more because it's good. Um, and then I have the collection No Clumps. I used to use this all the time, but I just don't use it anymore, and I think it's dried up anyway. And then I have the Maybelline The Colossal. This was also one of my favourites. And then I have the Urban Decay Perversion, which is amazing. This is so, so good. And also the Benefit There Real, which is my current favourite. And then I have this one from Maybelline. It's the One by One. And I don't think I've ever used it, so yeah, I'll probably just pass that one along anyway. Um, I have the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition, which I love as well. And then what's this one? This one's Ted Baker. This one's dried up now as well, so yeah. And then I have all of these samples in here, which I'm going to be keeping because they're still all fine. So I have Their Real, I have Roller Lash, Clinique High Impact, um, their Real Tinted Primer, which I need to use more because this is so good. And also the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. And then the next section I have is this, and it's basically got eyebrow products, eyeshadow sticks, single eyeshadows, like everything you could imagine is shoved in here. So I have the Maybelline Brow Drama. I absolutely love this. And then I also have the Rimmel Brow This Way. I literally have just got this, um, and I'm going to use it in the first impressions as well. So of course keeping that, then I just have a random sharpener. And then the Freedom Brow Pomade, this is in Ebony. I don't really use this because I don't really like pomades, but I'm going to keep it anyway, just in case I just convert basically. Um, and then I have this from Eyelore, which is the brow amplifier, but it's a bit too light for me. It's in the shade Mid Brown, and I got given it a beauty con, but it is too light. So I think I might give this to Jess because her eyebrows are this colour, so... Yeah, and then I have these eyeshadow sticks from Collection, and I don't really wear this pink one because I don't wear pink eyeshadow, so I'm going to pass that one along, and also this brown one, even though I love it, it's dried out now, which is really sad, so yeah, I'm going to just keep this nude one. And then I have these from Rimmel, which I bought like ages ago in Poundland, they're the Scandalize Liquid Eyeshadow Paints. And they just don't blend properly, and yeah, I just don't use them, so I'm going to pass those ones along. And then I have my NYX, what are these actually called? Are they called Jumbo Eye Pencils? Yeah. These are really, really lovely. I love these so much, and I actually quite like this pink one, so I'm going to be keeping those three. And then I have this from Soap and Glory, which is the Archie Triumph. I think it's from Soap and Glory anyway, yeah. But it is a bit too light for me, but I really like this highlight shade, so... Yeah, I'm going to keep that. And then I have this eyebrow pencil from Rimmel. I'm going to keep that as well. I don't really use it, but yeah. And then I have Essence Brow Gel, which is really, really good. Um, and then I have this MUA Pro Base Eye Primer. I don't use this, and I think it's pretty much run out anyway, so yeah, I'll probably pass that one along. And then I have the Mini Benefits They Don't Stray. This is a really good eye primer, actually. And also the Urban Decay anti-aging primer potion which I love as well and then I have this from Illamasqua which I bought because basically it's Illamasqua and I thought it would be good but it's like a green shade it's an eye I think it's a cream eyeshadow maybe yeah it's a liquid metal but 
it kind of looks gold but on your eye it's a bit greeny yellow so yeah I don't really use that and then I have this from number seven which I actually really really like it's an antique rose eyeshadow and yeah and then I have two Ted Baker eyeshadow sticks which are actually really really good okay and then moving on to this section of course my collection eyebrow kit I use this every single day I've used it for about a couple of years now and it's still lasted me it's incredible you definitely need to try this because I'm addicted and then I have two Rimmel eyeshadows and yeah let's just appreciate these colors I'm not gonna wear them so what's the point in keeping them and then I have two eyeshadow palettes from 17 these are actually really really pretty so I'm going to keep them I think and then I have these Urban Decay Primer Potion samples and then in here I just have my liquid eyeliners so the first one I have is from Ted Baker, this one's dried up now so I'll pass that one along. And then I have Collection Fast Stroke which I think is fine. Um, the L'Oreal Super Liner which I used to use all the time. Um, Rimmel Scandalize, Collection Extreme 24 Hour and a Smashbox one as well. I don't really wear eyeliners as you can probably tell but I just like to keep them in case I want to. Okay, and then moving on to this section, I basically have single eyeshadows. So first of all, I have these Essence ones, which I really, really like. They're amazing. And then I have some of the Maybelline colour tattoos. I haven't used these in a while, but they're actually really, really good. So I have this one, which is Eternal Gold. I have Pink Gold. Um, is this Pomegranate? Yeah. And also On and On Bronze. And I think I'm going to keep... Definitely on and on bronze because I love that one. I think I'm going to pass along this one which is pink gold because like I said before I don't wear pink eyeshadows. It just doesn't suit me. And then I also love this one which is the pomegranate one. And then this gold one I just don't use either so I'll probably pass that one along as well. Okay and then I have two of these Stila eyeshadows. I'm not too sure what they're called. Does it say on the back? Apparently they're called the metal eyes and I have a blue and a green one. These are really, really nice, so keeping them. And then I have a couple of NYX eyeshadows. I have True Taupe and what's this one called? This one's called Rust, and they're really nice too. And then I have the Body Shop Shimmer Brick, which is so lovely. And then I have four Freedom eyeshadows, which I also love, and also a Smashbox Trio. Okay, and then these things are the last things in the drawer, but obviously I have more than that. So first of all I have three of these Collection Eyes Uncovered um, eyeshadow palettes. These are really, really nice. But I'm not sure about the smoky grey. I'm not sure if grey really suits my eye colour. But I might just keep them anyway because they are really, really nice. And then I have this Rimmel eyeshadow that I just don't use. It's really, really pretty colour though. It's in the shade Spicy Bronze but yeah, I just don't use it. And then I have four MUA palettes. So my favourite is this one which is Undress Me 2 and then also Heaven and Earth which is so so pretty. And then I have this one which is Undressed and it's basically a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked palette but I already have that so yeah I just don't really use this so I'm probably going to pass that along. And I don't really use this one either but I think it's a dupe for the Naked 3 from Urban Decay so yeah I'll probably just pass that one along as well. Okay guys I've changed my mind about the Elysium palette because I think I might do like a comparison between this and the Naked 3 or another palette, I don't really know. But I thought that would be good because these eyeshadows are actually quite pigmented. So yeah, just changed my mind. And then I have two Wet n Wild trios which I love and got from New York. So keeping them. And then I have these two Makeup Revolution palettes. And I think I'm only going to keep one of them because I don't really use them. So now I've got to decide which one I'm going to keep and I'll get back to you. Okay, I think I've decided that I'm going to keep the one on the left because I feel like there's more colours that I can use in that one compared to the other one which has quite blue tones. So yeah, that's the Redemption Essential Mats 2. So I'm going to pass along the just original one. Okay, and then I have my eyeliners in this pot and I think I'm going to keep all of them because to be honest I don't really have many. I just have some from Rimmel, NYX, this one's Pixie, Stila. MAC, yeah that's basically it, I don't really have many and I also have the Tanya Burr glitter ones in here from the advent calendar as well so yeah I think I'm just going to keep them because why not and then I'm going to be keeping all of this as well because I know that's quite bad but they're just like essential things that I need because in here I have my MAC Cinderella palette, I have my two Naked Basics, my MAC paint pot and two Tanya Burr like glitters 
And then in this one, I have my Kiko eyeshadows, which are my favourites. The Too Faced Shadow Glitter Glue. Um, the Collection Glam Crystals, which I need to get more of these because they're amazing. And just some random glitters from NYX and Collection and Makeup Revolution. And yeah, I just really like all of these, so there's no point me giving them away if I'm going to use them. Okay, and then here I just basically have all of the rest of my palettes. And these are the palettes that I use the most, so I don't think I'm really going to be getting rid of many of these because I have my Too Faced Wardois Eyes. I have the 17 Easy on the Eye, the Big Smoke. Um, I have three Makeup Revolution palettes, and one of these I don't actually use very much, which is... So I have Mermaids Forever, which I love and also this one which is I like, Eyes Like Angels that I love and it's this one which is Beyond Flawless which I don't really use as much because it's basically got shadows that I have in so many other palettes like it's really really pretty and for a beginner's palette this would be incredible because it's got so many different colours um, but I just don't really use this that much in comparison to my other shadows so I think I might give this to someone else who is going to use it a lot more and then I have the Makeup Revolution, um, Love the Revolution palette, the Urban Decay Naked on the Run, what else do I have? Just my Naked palettes and also, of course, my Zoeva Cocoa Blend, which is my favourite palette ever. Okay, so this is everything that I got rid of. I'm pretty proud of all of this because there's quite a lot of stuff in here and I just love eye products, so this was quite hard for me. But yeah, I'm really happy with everything that I got rid of and I'm just going to put it all back in the drawers and show you what it's like. Okay, so this is what the main drawer looks like now and I'm actually really happy. Like, it still looks quite jam-packed but to be honest, there's a lot of different products put in here and when I go to university anyway and I get new storage, I will be decluttering it again so yeah, quite a lot of this will be going anyway but yeah, so far I'm really happy with my progress. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a massive thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe as well and I'll see you next time. Bye!